Welcome to your weekly goat tip. We had just gone into town and we were headed to the library. It's a fun weekly this time that we spend as a family as with me and my kids at the library. And so we go into town and and I feel like I am continually saying, watch, watch for cars. You know, you get out in the parking lot at the grocery store. Watch for cars. Do not run in the parking lots. Always look behind you. Look this way, look that way. And I don't know if you're like me, but as a mom, my imagination can run wild. And it can just feel like I, I imagine the worst, you know, like they don't listen and then my mind thinks of all the possibilities of what could happen. It's a big long trail that that my mind can wander down. And so it's something that I harp on a lot. This goat tip is one that I feel like I harp on a lot. And it is a really important one. You need to, as a goat owner, as an animal owner, you need to be doing one thing every day. When you go out to feed, when you're milking, when you are watering, when you're walking by, every day you need to be doing this. When you come out to your goats, you need to be using all five senses. You need to be looking, you need to be listening, you need to be smelling, you need to be licking them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but as you need to be... <laughs> and you need to be feeling. Now, those play out, all those senses play out in different scenarios. For instance, you're not gonna be licking your goats, but you will use your sense of taste when you're tasting their milk. Is their milk tasting off and why? If it was tasting fine and now it's not, there could be a very good reason for that and you need to find out why. So you, as you're tasting the milk, you need to be paying attention to that. As far as feeling, there are several ways that you'll be feeling your goat. When I'm milking, I will be feeling their udders and feeling is, is one of them or is, is one side hot to the touch, feverish. Is, is there something going on there? There's other times that you'll be able to feel their rumen is like very bloated and big. And, and so you'll, you can feel um, feel the rumen and what's going on there. If your goat is acting off by any of when, by using any of these senses, if your goat is acting off, another way that you will feel is by using a thermometer and taking their temperature. The temperature is one of the key ways you can tell what's going on inside of your goat. It's pretty obvious with your eyes. You will be your with your sight sense. You will be watching your goats. You will be seeing how they're acting. If one of them's standing off by themselves, that's a clear indication that something's wrong. You'll be able to see any changes in their body, in their hair coat, in their where their rumen is located. You'll be able to see if things are going with their feet, if they're limping. Your eyes will be able to see so much. You'll be able to look in their eyelids to see if, how pink their eyes are. Um, their eyelids are and so your eyesight you looking and observing each one of your goats on a daily basis is key because not only will you get to know your goat and their their behavior that is normal that because you know what's normal you will be able to tell what is abnormal very quickly when you're watching your goats you'll also want to hear you can listen to your goats uh, movements, their, their rumen movements, their, their tummy will gurgle and you want them to be gurgling and burping up their cud and you you just will watch and be able to listen if they're having rumen troubles they may not be having any of the gurgling normal sounds. Another thing you will listen for is if they're grinding their teeth, if they are kind of making a sound of pain, if they are uh, if they're the normal grunts or if they're not the normal grunts so or the you know the goat sneeze quite a bit they sneeze when they are in displeasure 
might sneeze in disgust or they might sneeze because they're in the hay and it's kind of, you know the dust of the hay is kind of getting in their noses as they're eating but then they might be sneezing because they're sick so you need to be listening for the different sounds of what's normal your sense of smell you always with your animals you know there's the normal smell and Sometimes you might, like if you have a pregnant doe, their urine might smell a little different, or or their milk. You, if you are milking them, their milk might smell a little bit off. As you can tell, your five senses are key to you knowing what's going on in your herd, and it is so important to pay attention on a daily basis so that you can quickly see what's wrong and quickly react. If you would like weekly goat tips from the three goat ladies, you can find the link to sign up for those below. Don't miss them. So my kids, as we go to the library, as we're just shopping, getting in and out of the car, my kids know how important it is to stay safe. They know that they need to be using their five senses and just paying attention. That is so key in life, is paying attention. We don't ever want to be in in a daze as we go through life and that goes for when we raise our kids and when we're raising our goats we need to be paying attention on a continual basis and when we are we're safe in the case with our goats when we're paying attention and using our five senses we can have a healthy herd and, and can react quickly when our goats are sick